Even with more buyers shifting towards SUVs, compact luxury sedans are still an interesting proposition, finding a lot of buyers. So, back in early 2021, Mercedes unveiled the 5th generation C-Class, internally called W206, which is just entering the North American market. The new model is slightly longer, wider and lower compared to the predecessor, and both interior and exterior have been completely redesigned to match brand's current design language. What's more important, at least from the driver's perspective, is that the new C-Class rides on the MRA2 module platform, which is also shared with the flagship S-Class and is full of enhancements and new technologies. There are a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into a new C300 formatic with an AMG line package and talk about the interior space. Just like the exterior, the interior has been completely redesigned and all changes were more than welcome. Both quality and fit and finish are great, giving you that feeling of solidity typical for German luxury cars. Now something that probably caught your attention right off the bat are two displays. The first one is a 12.3 inch digital cluster which is very customizable, allowing you to change the design of your gauges, show driver assist information or display a full screen map. The second one is a 11.9 inch center touchscreen display running the newest version of the MBUX operating system. There is a little bit of learning curve in the beginning when using it, but once you get used to it, you will find it logical and easy to use. The driving position is great and despite the front seats being on a little firm side, they are comfortable, offering a decent adjustability and support. Now moving to the back, typically for this segment there isn't much legroom, but if you are shorter than 6 feet, you should feel comfortable back there. Last but not least, the trunk. It is practical, offering 12.6 cubic feet of space and if you need more room, you can always fold the back seat down. Alright, so that was the interior of the new C-Class. With that, let's take it on the road and see how it drives. Sadly, you can say goodbye to the V6s and V8s in the C-Class. The new model is only offered with 4-cylinder turbocharged engines with some sort of hybridization and a 9-speed conventional automatic. The lineup starts with a mild hybrid C300 which you see here, available in both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants. The engine produces 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque and returns decent fuel economy. 23 miles per gallon in the city, 36 on highway and 27 combined. More powerful C43 variant is coming up and most likely we will see the top of the line C63 in the future. Now the C300 is alright. It produces an adequate amount of power for everyday driving, but when it comes to more spirited behavior, it's average at best. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because the new C-Class feels much sportier than I anticipated and you can clearly say that the W206 is a generational leap in terms of chassis dynamics. The steering is quick and responsive, providing a nice amount of feedback and the car feels very nimble and predictable on curvy back roads. At the same time, the C-Class is impressively compliant over any road imperfections and with the cabin being well isolated from the road and outside noise, the Benz is an awesome everyday car. So since we established that the new C-Class is a fantastic daily, you probably wonder what driver assist features it has which no matter how you look at it, are important nowadays. Well, it comes standard with an automatic braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring and automatic high beams. For $1700, you can upgrade to the driver assist package, which includes an adaptive cruise control with curve adaptation and automatic lane changing, active blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist with automatic steering, and an active emergency stop assist which can completely stop the car if the driver is unresponsive. 
All those features work great and are not intrusive at all, so I would definitely consider getting the driver assist package. Speaking of upgrades, the headlights. For $1100 you can upgrade to the Digital Light Intelligent Light System, which I highly recommend especially if you do a lot of night driving. The light output is amazing, automatic high beam assist works very well and in certain situations the lights can project warnings or information on the road ahead of you. In my opinion, the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class is the best luxury compact sedan, being a very appealing proposition, especially for younger clientele in a still competitive segment. The Benz offers a good ride quality and even better driving dynamics, it's very technologically advanced and gives you that solid German feel. Pricing for the new C-Class starts at $43,550 for a rear-wheel drive C300 model and an all-wheel drive is a $2,000 option. My fully loaded C300 4Matic with every additional package available was priced at $62,270. If you wonder how I would spec out my C-Class, click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.